All right, y'all, let's talk about this extremely sad story. I cannot believe that this is what it's coming to. Um, but at this point, I should not be surprised. In a perfect world, we would just continue to learn from our atrocities. You know, it's 2023. We would learn from our stupidity, our ignorance and just continue to make strides when it comes to protecting vulnerable populations, minority communities, etc. But um, we are nowhere near the kind of reality that I would like to be living in. This story is one of the most recent examples of how queer phobia can affect people who are not queer, right? Because on this channel, I've talked about how transphobia affects people who are not trans, how it affects cis people. But this story about um, Laura Carlton shows how homophobia just snuffed her life away and she was a straight woman. So The Guardian says, man who killed California store owner tore down pride flag and shouted slurs. And apparently he had a history of posting hateful content online. Um, so 27 year old man who fatally shot a store owner in California had torn down her pride flag and shouted homophobic slurs, officials said on Monday. Laura Ann Carlton, 66, who went by Lori, died at the scene of the shooting on Friday outside of her Magpie clothing store in Cedar Glen, an unincorporated community in the mountains, roughly 60 miles east of LA. San Bernardino's County Sheriff identified the shooter as Travis Ikaguchi in a Monday press conference. Ikaguchi fled on foot and when he was confronted by officers, he opened fire on them, hit multiple squad cars. Um, the deputies fired back and fatally shot him. Now he had a history of posting hateful content online. Um, he, sh I guess the gun that he used was a semi-automatic handgun. It was not registered to him. He did not have a concealed carry license. Um, of course, this sparked nationwide outrage at the time of rising reports of anti-LGBT violence across the U.S. Carlton's family and friends have said that she was a fierce ally to LGBTQ people and that she previously faced backlash for displaying a rainbow flag but refused to take it down. She was murdered over a pride flag that she proudly hung on her storefront. Two of her daughters, Ari and Kelsey Carlton, said in a statement on Instagram, make no mistake, this was a hate crime. Her flags had been torn down before and she always responded by putting up a bigger one. Our family is broken. We find peace in knowing that she passed quickly in a place she cherished doing what she loved while fiercely defending something she believed in. She was fearless, cool, and compassionate, always putting others first. Um, they, they, some more friends of the victim say this, this intolerance has to end. Anyone using hateful language against the LGBT community has to realize their words matter, uh, that their words can inspire violence against innocent, loving people. Um, an LGBT group in Lake Arrowhead, where she lived, said Lori did not identify as LGBTQ, but spent her time helping and advocating for everyone in the community. Um, someone else was saying that in the past, when someone took down her flag or vandalized it, she put up another one. Equality California, an LGBTQ advocacy group, noted in a statement that the shooting comes at a time of attacks on queer and transgender students' rights at California school boards. Laurie Carlton was a victim of the hate-filled calls to action made by uh, politicians and extremists that continue to push false narratives and misinformation about the LGBT community. Her unwavering commitment to standing for the dignity and respect of LGBTQ people is a testament to her kindness and humanity and will always be remembered. So all of this is just a reminder to just, just, just of how senseless bigotry is to the point where here you have straight people killing other straight people because of their their, their hatred of 
queer people is that deeply ingrained you know and then you got these politicians who have who have more smoke for drag queens than the i'm, I'm going to keep saying it than the unlimited members of the un, un, unlimited amount of clergy who are who take advantage of their position and abuse sexually abuse uh members of their congregation like you got people you got politicians having more smoke for them than um the the very members of these fucking ch churches that be fucking over their people you know and then look into those same churches to tell you what to do about queer people bitch you need to be focused on these youth pastors who who play with y'all kids under the pews bitch fuck you talking about but bigotry is so stupid homophobia is so stupid that here you have someone who's so hateful of fucking queer people to the point where you would you would really murder an ally you would really murder somebody who's not even queer right and so you know governments i'm telling you governments politicians whatever they have access to all the fucking data they have access to all the research they have access to all the science bitch um we are i mean we already know everything that we know about sexual orientation gender whatever we know we just know everything but it's so easy to get support from a rabid base like it's so easy to pull coin from their ass that's i mean you want to talk about churches <laughs> so when you got people locked in a certain mindset or you have them abandoning science if you have them abandoning um logic it's so easy to put anything in their air and twirl their ass around and so these politicians, half of their asses got fucking gay kids and shit. Half of their asses do be on the fucking gay ass apps and shit. These politicians know what the T, some of them know what, most of them know what the T is. They know, but it's just like, why would they give up that, that rabid support, right? Like, why would they give up that political power it, that all they have to do is keep feeding their base misinformation, disinformation, and it does not matter how many innocent people fucking die. As long as they get to stay on the throne, it don't matter. It doesn't matter to them. So you you could have these people just like it reminds me of like, you know, a hypothetical situation where somebody is not really that much of a fucking believer in God, but they're just like, bitch, these motherfuckers give me give give the church offering every goddamn week. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to let let that shit go. I'm not going to leave it. I'm not going to leave these alone. And so no, seeing the destruction that happens because of their rhetoric will not pull them. You talking about money and power. It's not pulling them away. Seeing how gun violence is destroying this fucking country. They still out here, you know, sucking on the NRA's dick. Um, seeing how COVID is destroying this fucking country. They still do not give a shit. They, they won't give a shit about fucking making sure that healthcare is available to those who fucking needed they just want to privatize everything it's just like seeing how these things affect society you guys a lot of these politicians who do not care as long as they checkbook is fucking filled as long as they are like i said remain on the throne so it's like i, I just want to reiterate the how preposterous it is for something that is supposed to be oppressing queer people now fully full circle now like fucking over straight people too and it's like, you, even for the sake of self-preservation, y'all wouldn't just come up off the homophobia, bitch. Everybody's at risk. Everybody, girl. Ally, straight people, everybody, everybody. You know, it's it's just to, to know that instead of, which they could do, instead of working towards a world that has less fucking borders, less stupidity <laughs> less fantastical bullshit and more um i saw the ideas that are based on our reality these bitches are feeding the ignorance they are feeding the fear because that's what gets that that's what gets people riled up and they they hone in on that they latch onto that every fucking election cycle every every time they want a damn scapegoat like girl if you don't like gay people that much you don't like gay things that much whatever don't uh don't suck a dick i don't know what to tell you like don't just leave I, I don't understand why if okay let's just say that you're whatever you believe your sky daddy your invisible motherfucking imaginary friend told you x y and z about gays okay so that's between you and the fairy man in the sky like what that got to do with me girl you know 
But like I said, it is a lot of this fear, a lot of this hatred. You can source, you know, the the way that people feel emboldened to just be violent and vile. You can trace some of that back to the way that politicians, the way that um, these supposed leaders are, like I said before, latching onto people's ignorance to maintain power, latching onto and, and feeding and, and spreading this, this misinformation so that they can keep people uh, afraid instead of opening up investigations into their fucking local churches and especially those fucking mega churches. Get out my face. Um, homophobia, queerphobia is a danger to all of us. Transphobia is a danger to all of us. Um, stupidity <laughs> is a danger to all of us, as we can clearly see. I mean, I don't know how in this video ain't nothing positive. Um, there's no silver lining. Girl, this shit sucks. <laughs> And I, what, they're gonna have, we gonna be in here fighting. Like that's really just the tea, like we gonna be fighting. That's, <laughs> ain't no, you know, oh my God, we just have to stick together. Bitch, no, they coming for our heads. And it really, all, that's, that's what it seemed like. They coming for our heads. So at this point, it's just, it is what it is. It ends how it ends. Um, And we just gonna have to do what we gotta do. That's it. Thank y'all so much for watching and make sure that you have a good goddamn evening.